Hello, today we are going to make a bidet crochet rosary. You will need some glass beads. I got these from the Dollar Tree. And some yarn, size one, super fine. And a size C crochet hook and a needle that can fit through the bead as well. Okay, so your first step would be to gather all your beads. You will need a total of 59 beads. I chose um, 53 to be pink and the rest, which is six, to be yellow. So next you're going to put the yarn through the needle. And then once you've done that, then you're going to pick up your beads. Um, you're first going to start with the um, set of 10 pink beads. And I'm just picking them up with my needle and pushing them down. So yeah, I'm just counting till I have 10. Okay, once I think I have 10, then I'm going to count them. So as you could see, I have 10 right here. Next, I'm going to pick up my yellow. That's the bead that's going to go in between the sets of 10. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I get to um, 5 sets of 10. And we'll meet there. Okay, so once again, I'm going to make sure I have 10 pink beads followed by one yellow bead and then again 10 pink beads and then one yellow bead and so on until you have 5 sets of 10. You should have five sets of ten with one spacer bead in the middle of them. Okay, so as you can see, I ended up with a pink. Now I'm going to place a yellow bead. And then I'm going to place three pink beads. So one, two, and three pink beads. Next, I'm going to add the last one, which is a yellow bead. Next, I'm going to remove my needle and create a slip knot. Just remember that when you make your slip knot, you leave a really long tail so that later on you could sew on your cross. And then I'm going to grab my crochet hook and chain one. Next, you're going to grab a bead, pull it up. And then you're going to put it really close to your crochet hook and create a chain to lock it in place. Next, you're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, and again, you're going to pull up your bead. And you're going to chain over it like that to lock it in place. And then you're going to chain one and pull up your next bead. Okay, and then you're going to chain it in place. Then chain one to separate it. And then again, pull up your bead. And chain it in place. Okay, so you should have one yellow and three pinks. Then you're going to chain four. And then you're going to add your yellow bead. 
chain it in place. Okay, so next you're gonna chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, next you're gonna grab your pink bead chain it in place and then chain one and then chain it in place okay so chain one and then grab another bead chain it in place and you're going to keep doing this until you end up with a set of 10 pink beads Okay, so once you've done your 10 sets of pink beads, then you're going to chain 4. Okay, next you're going to bring up your yellow bead and chain it in place. Okay, so next you're going to chain four again, and you're going to do this in between each set of ten. So just remember that. Okay, so once you finish with your five sets of ten, then you're going to chain four and just leave it on your hook. And then you're going to um, just make sure the bees are all pointing one direction because you're going to tie it together so you want to make sure that um, the bead side is showing on the outside all the way around and then and that it's not twisted then you're going to find this this base where you did a chain of eight and then you're gonna count down to the fourth stitch and you're just gonna slip stitch it together like that and then again chain one and then you're going to cut it and just pull through <clears throat> okay so next I'm going to grab my needle and sew my end in Okay, so next I'm going to sew my cross on using the end. 